Hi guys and welcome back to the channel. Today I've got two replays in the Western Alliance Era 3 Premium Tank Destroyer, the Weasel 1A1 Toe. Now everybody knows about the Weasel, everyone knows about its li this little rascal at this point, this little pest. It's a hilarious tank to play because you can just run around like an absolute lunatic, go around ATGM and people and just have a right laugh. And it is fantastically fun to play, it makes you a hell of a lot of credits. And you can just be an absolute muppet with it. And you'll kill yourself at least ten times a night. <laughs> you, you you will kill yourself at some point because it, it lends yourself to bad driving problems. But yeah, it's an absolute little pest. There's only really one true thing. Well, there's two things that I disagree with with this weasel. One is the fact that you are basically... That penned. Okay. Yeah, you're basically unspottable. Until one, you've fired, or two, you've basically crashed into the enemy tank. Because if you set this thing up right, you can get 35 meters of still concealment, which is dirty. <laughs> it's like none of these, I mean, obviously, true vision's a thing. These guys can physically see me. But spotted wise, which is a w the way most people will end up seeing tanks in the first place, nobody sees you until it's too late. And for the most part, that is, you are the surprise assassin. So you'll just drive in, like this guy, look. This guy won't have a clue I'm here until, oh, there goes 1,400 of your hit points. Sorry, bro. He hasn't got a clue. So that's one thing that I disagree with. For me, realistically, I feel like this thing probably needs a bit of a camo nerf. Not much. Just make it so it's like 100 meters or something. So basically, when I'm this close to people, they can actually spot me. You know, because it is literally at the point where they have to, pro it's a proxy spot. They cannot spot me unless they proxy spot me, which is kind of stupid and makes it very irritating to play against. But then the other thing I disagree with this, with this tank, before we get into the fun of it, is the ATGMs. And that is because, randomly, the premium ATGMs are just flat out better. Why? Who knows? Sure, by all means, have premium ATGMs gems that have... Because the standard ATGMs gems have 800 pen. These premium ones have 1,000. Fine. Whatever. You know, 800 pen is enough anyway. I can, that's fine. You can pen most things with 800 pen in Era 3. We're in the side and stuff like that. But not the extra damage. So the premium round, or the premium ATGM, has 1,430 damage. As opposed to the 1300 damage that the standard ATGM has. Which is kind of bonkers and I absolutely hate that. I hate, I always hate stuff like that. And I do hate that for the weasel. Because that basically means if you want to be doing a heck of a lot of damage, just fire the premium one. Just fire full gold. But the other thing about the weasel is the fact that if you do pen those ATGMs, you are making bucket loads of credits. Bucket loads. Even firing full premium, you're still making six, seven, eight hundred thousand silver. On decent games. It's filthy how much silver this thing makes. And it's rather delightful too. And because of the way it is with the AT Gems and that. You can have some absolutely meme -y times with it too. So what do I run in terms of a crew on the old Weasel? Well I do run. And this is a crew that's fairly interchangeable. I run Born Leader. Rapid Reload. Sixth Sense. Situational Awareness. Clutch Breaking. Camouflage Expertise. Muff silent Driving. Sorry. Off-road driving and track mechanic. Off-road driving to make my ground resistances just that little bit better. Do you need that? Well, that's down to you, really. Track mechanic because a, a, a stopped weasel is a dead weasel. You want to make sure that if you do get tracked and someone does catch your tracks, because what I've had a lot of times is I don't get penned, but they do blow my tracks off. You want to be able to get the tracks back on as quickly as possible to get going to attack the enemy team. And then the camouflage and muffled... Well, so the camouflage and the silent driving to make sure your camouflage is getting down below that 35 meters of steel concealment. And the silent driving basically makes it so that your still con your concealment on the move is nearly as good as your steel concealment. And after that first game, you can see we've got the epic victory, 12,732 damage with 386 assistance, only 500,000 credits. The high caliber, second class, the fire and forget medal, 1,554 base XP, a pretty damn nice game for the weasel. Showed its silliness in that game really where we were just like going around and hiding from people around corners and then going in and throwing 1400 hit, hit points at them essentially it is really really funny a tank and yeah the other thing you can change on that crew really is you don't you, i mean it's cold war you don't really need situational awareness but also always helping your view range is never a bad thing because it helps you light up targets that maybe you didn't spot 
it gives you the chance to see them and then be able to go get them. And also because you can play this thing like a light tank and just keep everybody lit up, you can get like tons and tons of assistance. So having good view range is not always the worst thing in the world. I mean, there's so many different perks that you can run on this tank. You can run stuff like, you know, you can run mark target, for example, to make sure that things stay spotted for a little bit longer. There's plenty of stuff that you could run. It's down to the user of the tank and down to how you want to set it up. And in terms of equipment, I run the advanced loader to make my reload just that little bit quicker. I run traction system to go faster and the camo net again to abuse the camo so that you get it down to that 35 minutes of still concealment. And yeah, the traction system because it gets you up to 88 kilometers an hour. Oh, good gravy. Good night, Mr. Chief, <laughs> Chief the Mark 11. 3.3k in one shot. Mm -hmm. Lovely, tasty, tasty. It's just what Weasel does. <laughs> oh, poor Chieftain. Oh, dear. But yeah, with the traction system, you get it up to 88 kilometers an hour. And obviously, also with the traction system and the clutch braking, you're making your track traverse even better, which helps you be able to maneuver far easier. So as you can see, the second game, we're also on Swamp, and we're up to 4.5k damage so far with two shells, because we are at that Chieftain, we got a sneaky shot into that Leopard 2A5, and that's where I'm saying camo is a big factor, and especially for something like this Weasel, because you may go, well, true vision, I don't need to set up for camo, because they can always see me. That guy would, would have known I was there if I'd not set up for camera because he'd have spotted me and he'd gone oh no a tank and turned whereas I managed to get that perfect shot into his back end and we came along and slapped him again in the side putting us up to nearly 6k damage but they have gone for our base we do have to be careful going through the middle of swamp because the middle of swamp is kind of a death trap for the weasel because there's a lot of times where you do end up in a position where you just end up stopping dead nearly plus there's a lot of trees that can blow you up because you know trees are deadly and you do have to be careful, but they are in the base, so we need to get back in and try and reset the cap. We don't want them to cap out. We can see the tank right there, so we're going to slowly pull up. It's a VFM. It's like, hello, Mr. VFM. Realistically, if I wanted to do it properly, I could have pulled back, fired over the ridge, and then pulled forward to guide the ATGM, because that's a good way of not getting spotted. But I don't trust it with the weasel sometimes, because you see the way we're stopping, look, and you see the way that the tank bobs forward, and then bobs back, and then bobs forward. That can really screw you over when you are... If you fired an ATGM, and then you just stop... <laughs> that's another Amarak. <laughs> 2000 to that BFM. Yeah, if you stop, and your tank will tilt forward, which means that your aim will go forward, and more than likely your ATGM will just go, out the floor! And that happens a lot too, so you've got to be very, very careful. It's best to just fire on the move, and that way you keep moving, it keeps your gun steady, and you just slow down to a very slow crawl when you're aiming the shot. And you can get a cheeky little assassin shots like that into that M1A1 or M1A2, whatever it was, that we got the shot. It was the M1A2, and we're up to 10,605 damage. Our next target is to get a gun out of the game. There's this McCarver, and that... Sh How did that go over him? That looked like it was dead cert to go into the back of that McCarver, but somehow the shell went straight over, and unfortunately we didn't get to kill him. Oh, we do run smoke as well, which helps your concealment. It's always a good thing to run for this tank, and it also helps you get out of a lot of situ dodgy situations. Oh, we launched that ATGM at that M1A2. It goes straight in through the front of him as well. We're up to 12,000 damage. Just waiting for the reload going, what's next? Should we come back for these guys? Yeah, we're going to come back for this 2A5. Why not? Hello, Mr. 2... Oh, tree, tree, trees are deadly. Hello, Mr. 2A5. Hello, Mr. M1A2. They both go for me, and they are both like, nope, 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 not, mis not today, Mr. Weasel. So we're just going to slam the shot straight through the upper plate of that Leopard 2A5. And... Because of the way you ended up reversing, that meant that I could get the shot straight in. He's not very happy. He was chasing towards me, but thankfully he ends up getting blocked off. We're up to 13.5k damage, 1756 assistance, and he gets shut down by the Challenger 1. And it's a pretty another rip roaring game in the Weasel, just showing it off again. It's, it's a pretty fun tank to play. You just run around like an absolute lunatic. ATGM people have fun, make credits. Finish that game with the high caliber, the Fire and Forget medal, the second class, the 1770 base XP. Again, another decent game for the Weasel, just showing its fun, fun capacity. And I just thought, hey, well, you know what? We got some Mimi Amorax in those games and some good shots off. Let's just show off the Weasel and see, see, you know, show people what it can do. Most people already know because it's a little pest. So as always, everybody, thank you very much for watching. I'll see you next time.
A great success!